I think there's going to be a controversial finish. I really do believe that. But there are a lot of people that we haven't seen that they may involve, you know, which will really help us out, you know, keep us in suspense, you know, make it a surprise. So we'll just have to wait and see. All right, guys, are we ready to kick off the wrestling time machine? You yes. ready? All right, I got to hit this button so we can go back. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. I'm sorry. Hold on. I forgot. Today's time machine's not going backwards. Today, we're going into the future. Are you ready? Guys, uh, WrestleMania is coming up, and that's where the time machine is going. We're going forward to WrestleMania of this year. And want to go over the card, the, well, the cards so far, uh, and get your thoughts on the matches and predictions of who you think huh. may win uh, those matches. One of the first ones is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship between Roman Reigns and, of course, Cody Rhodes. Your thoughts, Bill? Tribal Chief, I acknowledge you. However, however, I have never seen anyone so passionate to go after a championship and finish the story that he talks about. This past Monday night, Cody Rhodes delivered a promo that his father would have been so very proud of. I could see his father in him actually doing this. He's graduated to that spot. Cody taking the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship is something that the fans want, something that all the people are saying is going to happen, but I disagree. I think there is going to be some sort of an unusual finish, whether it's with the Usos or Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens getting involved. And I predict that Roman Reigns will come out of that show with a controversial win and still be the head of the table. Teddy, your thoughts? Well, um, I like, I'm, I agree with Bill. Uh, certainly, I listened to the promo, too, this past Monday night. Uh, Cody certainly uh, shades yeah. up his dad, and I mean, it was really touching because I remember one part of it that really caught me is what Cody said. I don't, you know, wear the suit to be a man. I'm wearing the suit to become a man. Yes. And, uh, you know, that, that you know, if you don't get that, then something's wrong with you. So that was very touching and it was basically real to me. So uh, I'm just waiting to see it. Uh, I think there's going to be a controversial finish. I really do believe that. But there's a lot of people that we haven't seen that they may involve, you know, which would really help us out, you know, keep us in suspense, you know, make it a surprise. So we'll just have to wait and see. But like I said, this one certainly will be one too close to call. Teddy, let me ask you, because you may know more about this than I do, but I've always heard that Vince, and of course now Vince is not really a part of the creative team. Basically. Well, we don't know that. <laughs> but I've always heard that he likes to end WrestleMania on a high note. And if that's our uh, main event, shouldn't Cody walk away then with the belt? Well, not necessarily, because we don't know what how that high note is going to end. Yeah. We don't know what that high note is. So whichever the ending will be, we will always set it up for the next pay-per-view or on down the line or whenever they get ready to exchange titles. But uh, yeah, Vince is certainly a part of creative. I, I I would I would believe that, you know what I mean? Because like I said, man, this is this man's life. So leave him alone. If he wants to continue to you know, step in and be a part of this, let him be a part of it. No, he's just hanging out of the grill uh, position. That's it. He's just hanging out, just seeing friends. <laughs> yeah. well, he, uh, the, the thing here also is that if, if it's a controversial ending, they can do perhaps the biggest rating in history by having some sort of a rematch on Monday Night Raw. You, you know, a lot of... I'm sorry, go ahead, Teddy. Basically, that's what you do. If, if you notice uh, after every WrestleMania, you know, the big main event moves right on over to the Monday Night Raw show. Yeah. So basically, you know, that, that, that'll that draw your ratings right there, too. So, you know, like I said, they, they, they've got this thing figured out or they maybe still, still could be working on it. But I think whatever happens is going to really be a big surprise to all of us. How about right. this? How about this? OK, Cody loses by some sort of accidental interference from Sami Zayn. Turns out Monday night, Cody against 
Sami Zayn, not to put him against Roman. They hold Roman for the next pay-per-view, but Sami Zayn somehow winds up back with the with the use with the bloodline. Well, I don't know. You know that you know that doesn't sound bad, but I just don't know whether they want to go that way. It's a kind of a rush job right there. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you got to you got to milk this, you know, take your time with it, man. You got 2 years worth of money here you can make off of this 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 Well, story. all of a sudden they made Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn into a, a thing with Cody Rhodes now yeah. a friendly thing. So I just wonder if that's going to uh explode somehow and cause Cody to lose the championship before he even wins it. Well, you always got uh, Kevin Owens there, a guy that's always been there, but somebody always has been interfering and stopping him from making it. So maybe he might be kind of tired of that. You know, maybe he may, uh, uh, Heyman may get in his ear. You know, we just don't know, you know, but Kevin Owens is like every other hungry wrestler. He wants to make it to the top. And certainly if he aligns himself with the bloodline and Heyman, he's, he'll certainly go to the top. Absolutely. And that's why you need to make sure you buy a ticket or watch it on, you know, WWE Network should be a fantastic right. show. I'm waiting for that. Here's something I want to bring up there. It was a match that uh, potentially may not happen, and that's Bray Wyatt versus Bobby Lashley. Uh, they say now that Lashley, I mean, not Lashley, but uh, Bray Wyatt has injured himself somehow and may be out of WrestleMania. Uh, Bill, have you heard anything else about that? I haven't, but I don't want to see that match happen. I've mentioned this on our time machine several times that Lashley is an amazing athlete yep. and uh, as is Bray Wyatt, but I don't want to see Bobby Lashley in his classy way of pr promoting himself verbally and physically get into a match that's with all these, you know, silly, magical things. Not the right guy to put in that spot whatsoever. No, I don't think any of us thought that was a good idea when we first heard about it. Teddy, your thoughts? Well, I'm like Bill. I don't want to see that match either. That just uh, Bray Wyatt and Bobby Lashley. That just doesn't do anything for me. I mean, as I, I, I mean, I just I'm like you guys. I just don't see. But you know, you never know why they do things. So of course I'll now, it. I'll leave uh, it at that. Of course now, I can see why uh, Brock Lesnar uh, declined to work with uh, Bray Wyatt. <laughs> I don't blame him. I, I mean, I don't either. I really that, don't. That, that's not his niche, so I don't blame him. I mean, you do what you're told. I mean, if they promote, ask you, but you know, you got to tell. Well, why should I? What? 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 You know, Bill, well, put Elias in there with Bray Wyatt. He's gonna. Elias is getting killed by everyone, but it highlights Bray Wyatt. Well, if uh, if we lose Bray Wyatt in the match, who do we replace him with for Bobby Lashley? That's a great uh, question. Um, every, everybody, most of the uh, uh, the roster, the A roster, is pretty much booked yeah. for WrestleMania. But so Bobby gets kind of screwed in the process. He could be out of a WrestleMania match, possibly, and he's one of the big stars. Well, or it could become a three way uh, somewhere. You know, we still don't know who uh, Gunther. It's a rumored Gunther against uh, Drew McIntyre, but that could become a three way. True. Yeah. True. All right, let's talk about Charlotte and Rhea Ripley. Okay. Um, people are going to say it's time for a change. I think Rhea Ripley is so hot in terms of uh, the fan base talking about her, watching her, and she's, uh, she's a very compelling competitor. Not that Charlotte Flair is not. She is. But I think the time to switch the title to Rhea Ripley and put that in the mix of the Judgment Day would be an excellent choice, in my opinion. Rhea is championship material at this point, in my opinion, as is Charlotte Flair, but I think it's more of Rhea's time right now. Well, Teddy, do you think Charlotte came back to the WWE after being gone for a while, only to lose that belt at WrestleMania? Well, I don't know. You know, uh, you know, you can't help when you, if you've had an injury. You know, if you got to be out, you just got to be out. But uh, I'm, I'm, you know, with Charlotte Flair, you know, one of the toughest women in the sport today. I mean, when you step in there with her, you you, you better have yourself ready to go. So I'm, I'm just saying, you know, it is time for a change. You know what I mean? Rhea Ripley certainly can, you know, step right in there and take that over. So I, I hope they make that change, but I don't know. You know what I mean? Maybe this is one, too, that you could maybe draw out just a little bit. 
But Rhea Ripley is certainly the one, if you're going to put it on somebody, she is certainly the one that I would put it on. And she's undefeated at this point. So, yeah. uh, you know, they're like, really Bill, like, and like Bill said, she's hot as she can be, man. Great oh, body, yeah. great looking girl. I mean, come mm -hmm. on, who wouldn't want to see her in the ring? She's I, got like that whole, even though she's not as muscular, but she's got that China factor. Yeah, yeah. she does i just i hate when people though uh try to compare any of the big girls to china i hear that quite a bit in fact uh, we had some questions on our show on road trip that kind of went around that too uh to me uh even though she has characteristics maybe of some of those people i believe everybody's different and i think uh saying that ria is more like china or kind of compared to china Hurts Rhea because I think Rhea is all herself, uh, something unique. No, no, Mac, I'm only saying the China factor because she would be competitively fine against a male wrestler. I got you. Well, that's true. That's true. That's true. All right. We, I brought up uh, Brock Lesnar a moment ago, and he uh, had a big uh, thing in the match uh, in, in the ring uh, this past week on Monday Night Raw with Omos. Is that how you say his name? Omos. Omos. Um, yes. And I got to tell you, that visual in the ring of these two giants and Brock Lesnar looking like a midget almost. Yeah. It was unusual to see that. And they played it off very well with the handshake because they showed you size difference simply in the hand. And I thought it was, I thought it said a lot. Teddy, what did you think? Well, I thought it said one thing. They both looked at each other and they both knew that they both got their work cut out for them. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Bill, what did you think about the, uh, the the two guys comp not competing but meeting in the ring this week? Well, it was amazing. You know, they they used to do, and Teddy remembers this. They used to do that with Andre a lot. They would have Andre put out his hand, and then the other guy look at the, and it was like, you know, yep. it was like a baby hand and a huge hand to see Brock Lesnar back up against somebody was told. I was really surprised that that was how that ended. Pretty quickly it ended, and Brock, you know, didn't make any uh, uh, motions to come back. And it was like, is this the first guy that Brock Lesnar is a little intimidated by? I thought Brock was gonna come in the ring, go around the back of him and try and suplex him. And Omos was just gonna stand there and hit him with the elbow and take him down. But it ended in a very realistic way. I liked it a lot. Well, yeah, that's, the way, and that's the way that's the way it should have been. So you take you take you take a nothing from either one of them. You left the people with man. I can't wait to see this. Yes, exactly. And, and my prediction for that match is somehow Brock Lesnar is going to uh, pull this out and and beat this giant. But I think it'll be a really, really uh, unusual match. Well, what's going to beat the giant is experience. And Brock Lesnar certainly has that. Absolutely. Absolutely. They got to protect uh, Omos somehow, though, don't they? Because they seem like they're really trying to push the guy. Well, Omos is going to have to protect himself. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> More ways than one, too. Can right. you imagine a suplex on that guy from Brock Lesnar? Wow. Yeah. That well, would you be something Brock to see. Lesnar, but keep this in mind now. Now, you just brought something up. If he suplexes him, Brock Lesnar could hurt his back and not be able to continue. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's like picking up a brick wall. Right, yep. right. Now, there is one match on WrestleMania that I'm excited to see, and that is Seth versus Logan Paul. That, to me, Logan Paul has been one of the hottest acts to me uh, in the WWE, probably in the last year, maybe two, uh, where he comes into these, uh, just he only does periodic matches, and I know that's a complaint that a lot of people have, but everything I've seen him do has been spot on and probably better than anyone ever expected this guy to do. Well, so, Logan Paul is one of those guys that he loves this business. He's, you know, he's hungry. I mean, even though he's already, you know, he's already got money, he's already a big star, but that doesn't mean you don't want to continue to live your dream. And this is, may have been one of his dreams since he was a child. So now he's, you know, in position. He's got money. He's a big star. So he's in position to live his dream. So for him to come in professional wrestling and make a name for himself like he has done, that means he's hungry and he wants it. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Seth Rollins taking nothing away from him. Great competitor. But you, I'm telling you, Logan Paul is going to really fucking take it to him. Yep. Well, my feeling is Logan Paul will take it to him. Logan Paul will look tremendous. 
but Seth Rollins cannot afford to lose to someone who's not a real professional wrestler. And there is the story. That's why I think that it's actually going to be Logan Paul with the win. Well, you know, it's called you slipped on a banana peel. Yeah, because, I mean, you got a feud after that where Seth's going, wait a minute, I'm losing to a guy who's not even a real wrestler? You know, there's going to be a feud coming back because Logan's, uh, if I understand correctly, he is going to become more and more a part of what we see in TV. And right. if that's the case, uh, he needs to run a program with somebody probably of Seth's caliber that can kind of run him through doing and, no nightly shows. And then I would say this, too. I think if Seth went over and Logan loses to Seth, I don't think that's going to hurt him not one bit. Correct. You know, Correct. because I think that he has certainly already proved himself. And the people will understand if he got beat, you know, Seth has been around a long time, too. He's another guy with experience. But it furthers his career on down the line. You know what I mean? So if he does lose, mm -hmm. now he's got something to complain about. If he wins, he's got something to complain about. So he there can you always go. Say, you know, he can always say to Seth Rollins, I took it easy on you. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> or, you, or either, you know, the favorite words is, you got lucky.